hi all so i hope you are enjoying this playwright series so if you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe and uh, please like share also with your friends and uh, in today's topic i will be covering about how to check a checkbox and how to uncheck a checkbox in playwright so uh, it looks like a very basic thing i mean very simple thing but uh, in today's video we will be seeing something amazing or something interesting okay so it it could be a bit uh, lengthy so i will be showing you some amazing thing with this checkbox check operations okay and uh, let me show you what do i mean by the checkbox so if you have one, haven't seen anything like that so i'm using this url so let me open it and uh, let me open my chrome browser So this is a Selenium practice form, okay? And uh, this is called checkbox. And let's see, I am clicking on it, so it is getting checked. And when I'm uncheck, I'm clicking again, it is getting unchecked, right? So we'll be performing some operation over on these checkboxes, okay? So let me show you how can we do it. So okay the first thing like we can try like clicking on this element right so that is the normal operation that we can do like if you inspect this element and then we can do the click operation that is very basic thing that i will not be showing right now maybe in the end i can tell you but you can try your own way but here uh, now what i wanted to show there is a new method available or it's different uh, kind of wrapper method available for this check operation and uncheck operation so let me show you that so first uh, thing is like after going to this page it should wait for some time right so for that we can give time dot sleep but playwright has amazing uh, another uh, thing like for waiting for few seconds so that you can try like page dot wait for and this one wait for timeout okay so in the uh, within this bracket or parenthesis you can pass argument like how many milliseconds you want to wait so let's say i want it want to see for around three seconds so that means three thousand milliseconds so after going to this page it should wait for three seconds okay after that it performs this check operation so let's me inspect it right so I go to the dev console, the developer tool, Chrome developer tool, and now I'm hovering over it. So I can see this is the input box, which is a type of checkbox. So I normally prefer to take this input field because this is one which is having the type checkbox. You can also try this level that should be okay, but ideally we should do this input one. Okay, now to get it, and let me show you, we can take a create X path of this field and also we can create a separate method for this i mean which can be dynamic one or generic method for clicking we just have to pass this monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and it can work right so that we can sh uh, do it here okay so let me inspect like uh, let me take the level one first so level equals colon and uh, here i'm taking Monday so text Monday and then slash preceding siblings okay preceding sibling colon colon input Okay, this one so okay so we got the locator now this is the single unique locator which is highlighting monday and uh, let's say you wanted to click on friday 
then you just have to change it to the Friday so it getting highlighting here right so we got the X path now let's put it in page dot locator like this and then we have to do the click right so dot uh, so which method we need to use right so we can click on it directly but instead of that we can use this check method check so that would check this checkbox this should work only with the checkbox if that is a checkbox that should, then only it should work okay and uh, not I mean uh, I mean this I mean not like that I mean it should work or not we don't know it can be it, it can work with the radio button as well because I think in their official official document it's mentioned like it could work with radio it is it will work with the radio button as well and uh, so it is basically we'll check the checkbox if it is unchecked okay and uh, then now after that I wanted to wait for a few more seconds just to see whether it's working or not and then I wanted to assert it right whether it is checked or not so that also we can do so this and I have to put the assertion assert page dot locator dot is checked so that means this method is returning a boolean which means it will only check if it is checked then it will return true and if it is not checked then it is it will return false that's it okay now as I mentioned like we'll be um, doing it uh, like in a dynamic way so that we can pass these values and we can get it so that can be easily done like we can put uh, create a method generic method so get uh, get days checkbox okay and here we have to return this value this one and I will be formatting it with the day I will pass so that I need to pass here right simple and now here we will remove it and we'll call this method get this checkbox and we'll pass Monday simple or Friday whatever get checkbox get this checkbox something like that and let's verify it so now if I run it let's see what happens so this is a pytest code I already created this method or you can see the template test checkbox so let me run it using pytest so pytest minus s and then I can mention headed and then we need to go to this path so that is uh, basics right so basics mm -hmm. and then it is test check and check yep so let me hit the run button let's see um, okay browser opened and now it is navigating to this website and it should click on it okay now this is the amazing thing that I wanted to show you you can see this is just trying it trying it and trying it but it is cannot it cannot click on this or check this checkbox right so it is not failing and it is like this kind of in a loop and it is doing and doing and doing right so it should not do that so let me close this browser now and now if I show you the console you can see what it is doing you can see it's printing the logs like what is the bit prank click action attempts 30 30 times right so waiting for 500 milliseconds and then waiting for the element to be visible element is visible scrolling into the view so these are the actions it is performing in the check uh, method okay and it is done scrolling and performing the click option so in check operation also it is doing internally click and then it's saying there is a, a problem so this level okay this value intercept the pointer events okay 
so that's the problem so instead of input because we wanted to click on the input field right but this is actually coming before input so that's the problem so if we show you in the here so if i inspect it you can see uh, this input is here okay this is the input field and this is the input field right and if we see here the opacity is zero okay and uh, opacity is zero and then this level level field is this so this is actually over this input field so that is why when you click on this in trying to click on this input field this level is coming into the picture and this is creating the problem okay so to solve resolve this issue what we can do we just need to add one argument here okay so that is called force equals to true that's it okay now if I run again now let's see whether it's working or not so you can see the Monday got clicked and it closed the browser so it's working right very fine I mean very uh, very nice so now let's see uh, there is one more way we can click on it that is the level option right so let's see if you can click on it using the level option so for that what we can do we can just comment this part and again create a locator page dot locator and here what we'll be doing we'll be using level and that is has text has text equals to uh, Monday that's it okay because if you see here uh, this level text has a text called Monday right so we just take the level and use this keyword so it, it works with anything so you can work with the, any locator where you are finding the level or whatever tag is there and then if you have a visible text you can use it directly okay so this is available only with the playwright now if I dot check it so it should work as well now let's try it here we are using this this one only okay but here in this case we are using this this locator and we are not using this force equals to true okay so let's run it so it it clicked right it checked the checkbox and it passed so it's working without even force equals to true with this locator only but with the input locator it is not working correctly it is failing now let me comment this one and let me remove this comment here because I want to use this one only uh, it looks good because it's kind of generic okay now we have learned about how to check a checkbox now let's see if we if you can uncheck it okay so after this one we'll be using the same one so let me copy it and dot uncheck right so we'll be unchecking it and here this time we have to use this force equals to true also and now uh, I will be asserting it or after wait for three seconds let's assert it so now it should like it should be is checked so it should return false right I mean the expected value should be like uh, it is not checked so it should return false now to make this assertion pass we have to use a keyword not okay so that becomes true not false equals to true 
now let's run it and see whether it's working or not so yes it clicked and it should uncheck as well it unchecked now it should pass it yeah one test passed basically you can create two methods like this one is for check another is for uncheck but i have combined it in one method just to save the time okay and i hope you understood it and how you can use this check and uncheck option in playwright okay and let me know if you have any any questions and please like share and subscribe so See you soon.